Welcome to our GIO Schoolboy Cup here this afternoon at Suncorp Stadium. And the first side out onto the field is the Morayfield State High. And Wally Lewis joins you right now in broadcast. Wally, uh, welcome along. Great to be here. Let's run through these two sides for you. Morayfield is coming out. And the one is Reese Vincent. The, the wing three quarters, Luke Ford and Connor Wilkinson. The centre three quarters are Manitanui, Paulo and Dean Kennedy. Your 5 8 is Jackson Mool and Mitchell Braun is the halfback. Let's go to the Ford packs. The front rowers are Anthony Ryan and Jacob E. Hay Kirapa. The hooker is Lance Hamilton. Your back rowers, Isaac Hardman, Nathaniel Damon, and their captain is Martin Flynn. And uh, the interchange, Lotamu Patty, Pereira, Thompson, Lisa, and coached by Dimitri Failua. That is the Morayfield State High School. Joined now by Marsden, who wear well the old North Sydney colours, looks like, from here, from uh, Sydney. Let's have a look at this side. Sean Ashcroft is the one. Num Number one, Sean Ashcroft is the one. The wing three quarters are Josh Leoda and Luke Bellamy. Number three is Cody Kennedy. Off the bench, Jordan Mago will wear the four. The halves are Jordan Stewart in the six, and David Leopai is the captain. He'll wear the seven. Let's have a look at the, uh, the forward pack. Taha Waki Kamona is the lock forward. Joined in the back row by Eugene Fuey, Junior Tamali Mai. The front row is Liana Sale, Wesley Liana, and Justin McKenna is the hooker. The interchange is Isefa Collins, Thompson Tomain, Palagatu Afoa, and coached by Joey O'Callaghan. So we're about to. Here is the kickoff, and Moray Field State High start off this GIO Schoolboy Cup television match. And Wally Lewis uh, joins in broadcast this afternoon. Wally, not much known about these two sides, an interesting battle. Yeah, it certainly will. Uh, a lot of these guys always like to back uh, their own abilities out there in the football field, obviously. Safety is the number one issue early in the games, but there's plenty of confidence in these two teams. Wally, I saw them uh, when they got here, both sides were out there with mobile phones taking pictures. Uh, bigger moment for these guys. What, what was it like when you ran on the Suncorp for the first time? Yeah, fantastic. I uh, um, played here as a four-stone schoolboy. I can't even remember what that had converted to weight issues these days, but... Boy, we were out there. We thought uh, we were playing in front of tens of thousands of people. I think there was about 120 here for the fourth game final against the Stafford State School for Jordan, the Cannon Hill team. Jordan Stewart cleared the kick inside his own half for Marsden, and now with Morrow Field, and they're, they're working it back. And this is with their with their fullback, Reese Vincent, and he's tackled 22 metres outside his own line. There's the first penalty of the game. We don't want to see the game uh, a heap of those penalties, well, but uh, I'm sure that uh, that was warranted offside. Yeah, and they were just looking to uh, to get a little bit aggressive too. Um, went down. You just got to make sure though, when the kick and chase game is intact, that uh, the players remain on side. Not a good idea to give your opposition early penalties in a game. Lance Hamilton has the ball for Moray Field. Works it out through the halfback, and that's uh, Braun. And Moray Field stayed high in the blue, and Marsden in the, the maroon and the black. This is the fellow I was impressed with the train of the day, Jacob E. Hay Kirapa. He takes it over the halfway line for Moray Field. Now Hamilton away through the halfback, Brawny Jinxie dummies. They're eventually tackled. He's up over the advantage mark. He's 40 metres outside the Marsden line. Hamilton away to the big front rower, Anthony Ryan, and he was hammered in a great tackle. That was a big hit. Get that into you. <laughs> that was a centre three-quarter, Cody Kennedy. He is a big unit. The ball's gone down, and so the ball comes up with Marsden. They're only they're 35 metres outside. Pretty physical sort of start of the game. Like. Yeah, fast. I think both of these teams, it's just the excitement of getting out there in the middle of Suncorp that's making them tip the ball around. Common sense will prevail pretty shortly. They'll look after the ball. Mago tackled. The, uh, Justin McKenna had the ball. He gave it away to their, their lock forward, to Hawaki Kimona. And he's tackled 42 metres outside the Moray Field high line. About to play it. Wing three-quarter. Bellamy comes back in. And uh, Bellamy goes across field. McKenna. Dummies across the field. This is this big fellow here, Cody Kennedy. Uh, the ball's gone forward. I'll tell you what, well, he's, a, he's a big boy, Cody Kennedy. He, he played SG ball for the Sydney Roosters this year, and obviously uh, he's got some ability. He is huge. Just have a look at him out there in the warm-up. I thought, oh, well. But when you line him up against the rest of the players, gee, he's... Uh seven or eight nine centimeters taller than anybody else uh, out there in the field but it's his positional play that really has become impressive at this early stage of the game unfortunately the pass went a little bit forward then and probably denied him the opportunity to post first points 
So nil all the scoreline. Three minutes, 15 gone on the clock. The ball comes away through Mool. Goes wide for their fullback, Vincent. And eventually out of their wing three quarter, Wilkinson, and he's going to be tackled. So they're working out from their own line here, Moray Field. They're working up towards the 40 metre mark. Nil all the scoreline. A real physical start to this game. That's where they wing three quarter. That's Luke Ford. And Ford's tackled just five metres inside his own half. Hamilton eventually going through the big hands here with the big fella. And this is Jacob Ehe Kirapa. I said it before, the wraps on him at training were big. And he got to the 40 metre mark. Hamilton out through the halfback. That's Braun. Eventually away through the back rower. This fellow here, this is Isaac Hardman. You can tell who he is with the big rat's tail down the back. Kick comes off from the halfback. And that's Mitchell Braun. And eventually it is picked up by the uh, the fullback, which is Sean Oscroft. Or Sean Oscra Ashcroft the first time there, Wally. Gee, that was a great set of six from Morayfield. They made around 70 metres of play. Unfortunately, the last uh, last tackle play wasn't quite what they were after. A better kick would have been uh, much more and of an opportunity to place first points, but they've come back after being battered in the first couple of sets. Siali now takes the ball up. Here's the big fella again. He's joined at the right time, Kennedy. He sneaks up over the halfway line. And already he's made a big impression in this game. McKenna at dummy half. He comes the short side to Fui. And Fui gets up 35 metres outside the Moray Field try line. McKenna. Leopi, the captain, and a big towering kick. They're coming through. The referee's called offside. Is it a penalty? No, he's not going to rule a penalty. He called him offside. Maybe Wally, he wasn't offside that player. Mm. Yeah, perhaps he was run back onside, but it did uh, It did sound like that he was about to award a penalty. That's a Nui Palo for the Moray Field side. He's got the job to work it out from his own line. Now another penalty comes. I think this is the second penalty of the game, and it goes to Moray Field. It's never good to be penalised, but it's uh, good to see that the referee... Ben Spring has awarded that penalty. He called the players out of it, warned two or three of them. He's done that on a couple of occasions. On this time, uh, though, it really was a tackle made from the Marsden boys that uh, denied the opportunity to Moray Field to get further down the football field. A restart play now, just nine metres on their own side of the halfway. The Hay Kirapa found touch, and they're going to work it towards the halfway line. So Moray Field, they're starting to, starting to gel here. The other front rower, this is Ehe Kirapa, who's made good ground. Oh, he's a talented kicker, he's a talented player, I can tell you now. Here's the other back rower, and uh, that's a good tackle. The, the runner was uh, Damon, and he's made it to the 30 metre mark. Hamilton, away, oh, and that's a big tackle. Referee calling him back on side here, Marsden. Hamilton through Braun, now the 5'8", Mool. He links up with the uh, centre three-quarter, Matt Nui Polo. And Polo's tackle while he's only 15 out, they're looking dangerous here, more I feel. Away through Mool, kicks, bounces. Fullback regains it, that is uh, Sean Ashcroft, who's been safe so far. Yeah, fantastic work. He knew that they were in a little bit of strife there. Beautifully placed kick on that occasion. Put it in a, into open spaces. The ball bounced up and certainly needed some desperation chasing from Ashcroft. So far, well, six minutes gone and some big plays here by Moray Field. Mars up the pump here a little bit. Yeah, they know that uh, they started well, but um, unless you're prepared to do it for the entire uh, half, uh, you're going to provide time and space for your opponents, but it really is the speed. Oh, boy. That's a big call. Jordan Mago has been penalised here. For not standing face on. Is that right, Wally? Yeah, not standing square directly up the field. And I've got to say, while I congratulate the referee on making a decision like this, if he was in charge of first grade, he'd be tired by the end of the game. He'd blow the pee out of the whistle. <laughs> e. Kirapa finds oh, touch. Oh, look at that for and a no, catch. he didn't find touch. He's, it's gone down to the wing three-quarter. Josh Leota, he didn't find touch. And Leota, what a run by him. He's made it back. And he's cleaned up by Nathaniel Damon. That could be a, a, a point in the game. Look at this. Oh, how spectacular was that? That is fantastic. He's provided time and space for his teammates. They were heavy under the attack of okay. Moray Field, but now they're taking the ball out. That's a great play. McKenna unloaded the ball away. He gave it to Eugene Fur. Eugene Fur works midfield. Wing three-quarter. Bellamy comes off his spot to take a run. He goes across field. He's eventually tackled. He's tackled by Akira and Dean Kennedy, and the ball's gone loose. So, gee, it's a, a play like over again, I imagine. He ran across field, and he's lost the ball, and now a scrum, and the scrum will go Moray Field State High Speed. 
Yeah, I often wonder when I watch these games, are the boys just a little bit too excited in the opening 10 or 15 minutes of a game? The quicker that they control the football, settle down, and just go back to their planned pattern of play, the quicker they'll post points. They're all about to feed the scrum. They're almost on the halfway line. Nil all the score line. 8.30 gone. Feeds it. Comes out. Away to Mill. Cuts out the centre three quarter and picks up Reese Vincent, who's searching for his winger, Luke Ford. And Luke Ford came across field. It was a great tackle on the end by Jordan Stewart, who cleaned up the wing three quarter, only a few metres in from touch, but they're over the advantage point. Now, this is the fullback, Reese Vincent. Taking a bit of pressure off the forwards. Moray Field on the attack through their half back. And that's Mitchell Braun. And Braun now loses the ball. So, a bit of sloppy play coming. Wally, no, there is a few nerves starting to, starting to creep in. Yeah, yeah, and the boys will be settling down uh, pretty soon. You always get the, uh, the, the feeling that the team that is the first to adapt to it and control the ball first, uh, they'll be well in control and do a. a, a will take huge strides towards controlling the outcome of the game. Jordan may go a dummy half. He goes, he's, he goes himself. And he's tackled by Isaac Hardman. Here's the big fella again. Cody Kennedy. Look at him go. He's broken through one. He's going. Oh, he got ankle tap from behind. It was by the halfback, Mitchell Braun. And I reckon they might push him to touch. No, he holds his ground. A miracle bit of work there by that centre three-quarter wall. Fantastic. I was going to say that the coach... He's probably the happiest man, but I'd probably change that to Reese Vincent, the fullback. He didn't want the opportunity of the big fella charging down on him. Tahawaki made a run. Oh, now the ball's gone down. So once again, the referee's going to rule knock on here. It'll go in Mars and State High's favour, and there'll be a scrum pack down. Well, that was a lucky call there. Moray feel on the ropes. What about Cody Kennedy? Hasn't he made an impact, Wally, in the first 10 minutes of this game? Yeah, well, you and I have been watching him for a short period of time, but everything oh, about this kid is class. He's got time, space. Second Look at the strength there. He got rid of two defenders, got into open spaces, and really it was a desperation dive from the defence that stopped first points being posted. That's a great charge. Somehow I don't think it's going to be the last one we see. No, I think you might be right. A few tied legs, he'll be there. Leopai with the ball in the scrum out to Jordan. Jordan Stewart, it is, and he's taken only metres out from the line. McKenna through Leopai. Leopai to Jordan Mago. He's very, very close to the line, Mago. Plays it now across. Jordan Stewart again. He goes himself. He had support on the outside with Wesley Liana, but he couldn't let it go. A run from the hooker. He scored. Justin McKenna. First four points of the game. Here we go. The conversion about to take place from Jordan Stewart after the try to Justin McKenna. Conversion. Unconventional, <laughs> Wally, but they got there. <laughs> Oh, well, there can be some difficult times. He's finding a reason to have a bit of a giggle about it. Well done. Great kick. 6-0, the score to Marsden State High. They lead after 12 minutes. Boys, time your run. Boys, time your run here, no penalties. Stay on side. Here we go, the restart, and the scoreline is 6-0 in favour of Marsden, but a, a terrible error to start the restart, Wally. Yeah, it certainly was. Look, I've got to say that one of the most important features in rugby league is communication, and it uh, appeared quite obvious on that occasion. The ball was always going to fall into a bit of a difficult zone, close to the sideline, not far out from the try line. There were two players in a catching position. Were they going to be able to get there? Second row, don't oh boy, I wish that uh, uh, Jordan may go. Had been calling to his teammates then. They've gone six points into the front. All of a sudden, they're the men under pressure. Moray Field now on the attack wall, as you said. Braun about to feed the scrum. Does so through Mule. Dummied away to Vincent. Gave it back on the inside to Manitoui Paulo. And he's wrapped up 15 metres outside the Marsden State High line. Hamilton to the back row of Isaac Hardman. They say he's the toughest man on the side, Wally. He's showing it today. So they're getting close to the line here. Moray field only a few metres out. Across through Braun. Gave a short ball to, to the uh, the front rower. And that's uh, Ihe Kirapa. They're back on the 10 metre line. 
That's Hardman. And Hardman's wrapped up some good defence, some good low defence there by Eugene Fu. So work the ball wide. Mool now with the ball. Dummies back to Vincent. Well, a Billy Slater Melbourne play there for a moment. That's all right, yet. Braun, long ball away to the wing three quarter. It's Connor Wilkinson, and he's tackled the last tackle. Chains over, don't throw it away. It was really a nothing six volley, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, there were a couple of disappointing uh, finishes to that. The last two tackles, they probably had a chance out wide, but it really did appear as though they stuck to the set plays that had been called earlier and didn't uh, really place all that much pressure on the master defence. Is it fair to say, would you would you think that uh, so far more I feel had the best in the field position apart from that last three minutes of play? Yeah, it's extraordinary. You have a look at the difference on the scoreboard, six points there, but really Marsden has spent most of this game deep inside their own territory. The ball control for Moray Field has been very good, playing it down this end of the field. Just a little bit uh, of a problem this year, though, throwing the knockout punch. Luke Bellamy working it away for Marsden. That's where their hooker is very busy, Justin McKenna. He scored the try for Marsden earlier. We're back in the 12th minute with 15 and a half gone. 6 0 Marsden lead. Mitchell out through Leah Pye, who's been very busy today. And here's the big fella, Cody Kennedy. She doesn't he cause some grief. One of the reserves is on now, and that is uh, Daniel Thompson. They've worked the ball out through their wing three quarter, Luke Bellamy. He's worked it up over the. He's up 15 metres outside this line. So once again, Marsden are on the attack. Jordan Stewart. This is their lock forward, and that's Tahawaki Kimona. And the ball's gone out, out of control, over the top, and once again, more I feel Wally have, have saved the day late. Yeah, I think the ball carrier then was in a, uh, a no-win situation. He'd heard that that was the, the last tackle, attempting to keep the ball alive. He got uh, thrown around in the tackle a bit, didn't, uh, didn't have too much balance, and simply tipped it out the back. Unfortunately, he was facing the opposite direction. Lance Hamilton. Gives the ball away, and uh, this is up to Moray Field now. They're trailing by six. As Wally said, they've probably had the better part of this first half so far. But Mars that have put on a couple of good plays. That's with Jacob E. Hay Kirapa. He's up 30 metres outside his own line. Hamilton through Braun. Mool has taken the kick and planted it down to nearly the 30 metre mark. It's picked up by the fullback Sean Ashcroft. He's had a solid game so far, Ashcroft, but he's cleaned up in some really, really good defence. That was Manitou Polo who's made the tackle. So it's up now to Marsden to get back over the halfway line. 6-0 they lead. It was a, probably a try against the run of play. 16 minutes gone. That was Jordan Mago with the ball. Now here's the second row up. That's Eugene Fu. He's been very good in defence so far. And here he is in attack. He's up over the 40 metre mark. McKenna away to Mago. Mago through one. Gave it away to Thompson. Thompson's up towards the five metre line. He's not too far away. So Daniel Thompson, who came on as a reserve. Oh, what's happened there? Play on, says the referee. No. What do they say? Wally, play the whistle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mark, it certainly wasn't Slap square. Out. I think that was just an opportunity for Moray Field right. to get in and Mark, stop. They knew that they were in desperate measures out wide. A lot of their defence hadn't got back onside. So we've got now uh, McKenna. McKenna finds touch. And here we go. They're attacking the line. One of the reserves on. And he's going to go very close to the line. I think he's uh, Jason Tomain. He's over. Jordan Stewart now with the kick to try and make it 12 points to nil. The conversion. A nervous one has missed well. It's 10 nil. He didn't fall over, but he was a bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, unfortunately, there's not a further two points added to their score line, but he did remain on his feet this time round. The restart from Jacob E. Hay Kirupa goes deep down in Marsden's half down just outside their 10 metre mark. And it's going to be the, uh, one of the back rowers bringing it back. In fact, it's their wing three quarter, Josh Leota, and uh, he's tackled. So it's up now to Moray Field. Well, they dig deep. They were, the, they were the side on top early in the game, but they're down 10 points to nil. Yeah, extremely impressive. There's just a couple of defensive lapses that have cost them, but this is the area now where they've got to place the pressure back on Marsden and hopefully get a good uh, a chase game deny space with the kick and then be able to attack some 40, 50 metres out. So little changes from both sides. That's uh, Ross Palagutu of Foa. Now the ball away. This is with Leah Pai. Kick is clear. High kick down to the 30 metre mark of Moray Field. Ooh, that was questionable. Referee says play on. Mate, Gee, it's, it's accidental I'm not sure what happened there. Scrum in here. Referee's ruled scrum. a scrum, so a knock on. It was messy. Yeah, I think if there's one thing that really has stood out every time that Marsden have put the ball in the air, there's been no calling. 
from the Moray field players that are under the ball they should be screaming out and probably an opportunity there for Dean Kennedy to provide a little bit of guard for his teammate there were a couple of players chasing it through trying to make sure they put enormous pressure on and that was the case Mars on the attack they lead by 10 nil 20 minutes gone in this first half referee is talking to both packs and asking to square up Hooker's feet on the ground, point to point. Leopi, the captain, about to feed the scrum. Gee, a try here for more I feel would be disastrous. Their wing three-quarter, Bellamy's joined in. He stood at 5'8", and he's very quick, and he's out of one, he's out of two. Oh, I tell you what, the ball came back, went to Sean Ashcroft. He's gone wide to Mago. Mago gaze himself, he's through one tackle. He's halfway through another, and eventually Mago is tackled. He's about eight metres outside the Moray field line. Trouble coming up here, you can almost sense it, Wally. This is through one of their reserve players, and that is Jason Tomain, who scored the previous try. What are they going to do? Here's the halfback, Leopi. And Leopi, as I, as Effa Collins goes to dummy half, they're only a few metres out from Moray Field's line. You can sense another try coming up here. Collins, away to Jordan Stewart. The lock forward there is to Hawaki Kimona. Well, if they go wide, they'll score. Let's see where they go. They go themselves, and he's in. Sigalu Ayesifa Collins has scored, and, oh, gee, Marsden, they're looking hot now, Wally. Yeah, yeah, they're on fire. Lining up in front. Takes the conversion. Two points are there, Wally. It was a nice style. 16 points to nil. If you were watching the game earlier, you'd say to yourself, gee, how could it be that scoreline? Almost like Groundhog Day for Kirapar here, Wally. Another restart from him. 16-0 uh, in favour of Marsden, who were probably, in the first 10 minutes, the, the side looked like they're getting scored against first. Oh, that was a great tackle from Kennedy and also Hardman. That's the start style of defence they need to put on their opponents to deny them space. They need to get back into the game. They certainly do. You're right there. And Isefa Collins, who scored the try for Marsden, wearing the 14. The coach, Joe Gokallion, gave me a big rap on him at training the day and said that he'll come on and run from dummy half, and he's done just that. So Marsden, they're working out. Asefa Collins, goes himself, gives it away now. This is with uh, one of the big fellas. This is with the 16, Joe Tomain. What a good unload that was. To another reserve, Palagatu Afoa. And eventually he unloads it. The reserves are very involved. Tomain's going himself. He's up over the 20. He's going himself. They can't tackle him now. They're eventually getting. Oh, he's fallen off one, two, three. He's been through three or four tackles, Tomain. And eventually tackle Asefa Collins. Away, Jordan Stewart. They've got a score here. And they will. A big try. Luke Bellamy in the corner. Great try. That's a, just a fantastic rugby league four-pointer wallet. Ashcroft now from the sideline after the try scored by Bellamy. Here he goes. He strikes it. It's not a bad strike. It's coming around. It's there. What a super kick. He's the reserve kicker, Wally. Not bad to have a reserve kicker that can slot them from the sideline. Fantastic. 22 points on the board for Marsden after 25 minutes, and they are looking confident. Here's the restart, Wally. As we said, there's been a few of these. 22 0 Marsden lead. You've been a coach, you've been a great player oh, as we talk, and there's a knock on straight down the line. They're offside. So Marsden have had a, a just a, a little bit of a brain explosion there. So Moray Field through Harbin have the ball. We'll come back to that comment in a moment. Harbin about to take the tap. Goes himself. And will he score on half time? No. There's the half time siren. What are these two coaches going to say, Wally, as we go to half time? Well, I guess um, in charge of Marsden, you'd be just saying to your players, fellas, we're doing the right thing. More I feel we've got a bit of work to do. Scoreline 22 points to nil. Marsden lead at half time here in the GIO Schoolboy Cup. Second half, Marsden to resume three, Jordan Stewart, Wally Lewis, half time. What have the coaches said? Well, I think uh, the Marsden coach certainly would have been quite uh, quite impressed with his team's attack. They certainly had some good strike force out wide. Took them a little while to get going, but uh, if there's one thing that they could probably improve with, it's their ball, ball control. More a field, well, I think they're just looking for a, a little bit more uh, teamwork going on uh, in their side. They were, they were pretty brave for the first 10 or 15 minutes, but the holes tended to open up and really the players they were almost run off their feet 
And now they have provided another opportunity for their opponents, Marsden. Yeah, you're right indeed. Moray Field had the ball, have lost at 40 out from their own line through Osefa Collins. And here's the big fella. He made a real impact. Jason Tomone in the first half. Look at him go. He's a man. He's a man mountain. They can't tackle him. But eventually he is tackled. Osefa Collins has gone the dummy half. He dummies across the field. He picks up the halfback, Leah Pai, who throws a long ball away. And that's with their wing three, centre three quarter, Cody Collins, who pushes off one, pushes off two. Can he short, score? Short, no. Down. He's a metre short. Acepha Collins, dummy half, long ball through Leah Pye to Jordan Stewart. He goes himself, tried to give it away to the, the big rampaging uh, Jason Tomain, but he couldn't let go of the ball. Acepha Collins goes himself. He's looking ominous. Gave it away to the second rower. And that is Eugene Fu. He's only a metre out, Wally. They're on the attack here. Marsden again. Acepha Collins. Oh, short ball lost. More I feel when I buy a lottery ticket after that, they've got out of jail. Yeah, a little bit lucky. I'm going to pay credit to a couple of their defenders. They were right on their own line, and they were desperate. Basically, if they can score here, they can get back into the game. If they offered another uh, six points to their opponents, it'd certainly be tough to expect that they'd be anywhere near it. Here's a chance being presented. They receive a penalty. Marsden lead 22 0. Moray Field just joined us wearing the blue. Marsden got the, the maroon and the black. I think the stats in the first half told the story, Wally. I think the tackles were like 83 43 in favour. Well, Moray Field made more tackles, but possession was like 65 35. Yeah, hard to, uh, hard to stay in the contest when you're so far behind in, uh, in stats like that. But Boy, they've got to get down to the other end of the field, and it's not going to be easy through the Marsden defence. Well, oh, there's Flynn away to Pereira. So, Moray Field, they have to score next. That's a fair comment. Love to move Paddy down the way to the big fella. And that's uh, Jacob Ihe Kirapa. Working down this short side here through their captain, Martin Flynn. Flynn loses the ball. Now he's ruled a penalty. So, they've got to do something well in the back of these couple of penalties. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Two on one will provide them the opportunity to attack from around about 20 metres out from the line. So they'll be pretty determined while they're uh, sort of down and out while they're defending on their own line. Now they have an opportunity to show some spark. Yes, indeed. Lotomu Paddy with the tap for Moray Field. Across the park he goes. Mool away to the halfback Mitchell Braun, who in turn unloaded to Hardman. And Hardman's pushed back. Gee, that was a big tackle. That was Palagutu or Foa. Some big defenders in this game. Across the park with their halfback, Mitchell Braun. He finds the wing through the centre three quarter, Dean Kennedy. Moray Field need to score. They trail by 22 0 in the GIO schoolboys. Back row it, Nathaniel Damon, who got through a heap of defence in the first half. Now another penalty. Three in a row while he penalties to Moray Field. Coming in handy. <laughs> Tending to add a little bit of inspiration to the team. Have indeed. Three penalties. They trail by 22 0. Now away, this is through Darren Pereira. He puts in a big effort. It was good defence by Daniel Thompson to wrap him up. Oh, dear. Lost the ball. I think he was waiting for another penalty, Wally. It wasn't going to come. Four yeah. rows a bit ambiguous. Yep. Yeah, I don't think they were going to grab that one. But, gee, that's uh, that's pretty pretty ordinary ball control. He was under a bit of pressure. A knee came up from, from the defender. But, uh, gee, in a situation like that, some you're going to get, some you're not. And on that occasion, it's a decision that was in favour of Marsden. And this will place them back on the attack despite being just 10 metres out from their own line. Yes, and they lead 22 points to nil. So more I feel in the back of three penalties. Got 10 metres out to the line. They just couldn't go on with the job. And the ball was lost. So they have the ball through Jordan Stewart. Sloppy scrum, but eventually the ball came out. Here's with their centre three quarter, no doubt. Cody Kennedy, one of the best players on the field so far, Wallet. Strength of this kid. Every time he runs the ball, he just dictates terms to the defenders. Makes it tough. The ball away through Palaga to Afoa. That's a big run. Big run indeed. Eventually, Pereira tackles him. He was in there with the, the other front rower, Ihei Kirapa. They keep working away, Mars, and they're very solid in attack. Eugene Fu gets up to the halfway line now. Acefa Collins gays himself. He's been inspirational since he's come on the field. He's made some really good runs out of dummy half. And he gets them up 38 metres outside the, the Moray field line. The ball comes wide. Jordan Stewart picks up the fullback. He's done nothing wrong so far. Sean Ashcroft. And Ashcroft's 35 out. Stewart dummy half. Picks up Leah Pye. A few players in front of him. It'll be interesting to see the referee's call here. Play on the referee says he's taken the ball. Josh Leader and scored. 
Gee, fielder in front of the kicker looked like well, the referee says play on, and yeah. he scored the try. Leota, Josh okay. Leota, number two. Sean Ashtroff lining the kick up here for Marsden State High School. They lead 26 0. Here is the conversion attempt. He goes back, he strikes it. Wasn't pretty, but it takes two points, Wally. 28 0. They're hard to run down now. Restart, Ihe Kirapa, what's become an all too familiar moment for him, Wally. The restart, they trail by 28 points to nil. Oh. Big hit then. Oh, that was the captain from Moray Field. He might be in a bit of trouble. Martin Boy, Flynn, let's have a look at this. I thought there was a bit of bad luck in this as well. We'll hear from the referee and his thoughts. Uh, it's, it's just high. I haven't seen the number because there's three players there. But he's going to sit on Portman, he's going to have a look at it. All right. Jones put him on report. I don't think there's any malice in it, was it? Yeah, no, I, I thought he just slipped right at the last moment. He tried to put a, a step off his right foot and tended to just go down a little bit. If he had remained upright, he probably would have made contact with the chest area. But you've always got to be careful. If contact's made, careless, reckless or intentional, a penalty does go to the opposition. Yeah, so when you're trailing 28 nil, it doesn't give you a helping hand. The hooker, he's away. This is the back rower, Tahaki Kimona. And he gets up towards the halfway line. What is the coach saying, Dimitri Falau, for uh, Morayfield here? Wally, is he, is he telling these guys to get out there and enjoy themselves now? They look like they, they, they can't run down a 28 mil score. No, no, they won't run this one down, but they've just got to remain friends out there in the football field, work as a team. If you're going to go up and sprint to... As another nine, penalty is given. Get, get, but you got, you got yourself in there, get yourself out. Lance okay. Hamilton's the offender. He's saying he's holding onto the right, foot of the, the Marsden player. He might have milked Marsden it a little up. bit, but he doesn't matter. Oh, the penalty's no, no, no. gone, and Marsden now on the on the ball again. You can sense more points coming as Jordan Stewart finds touch by Well, I'm sure one of Dimitri's messages would have been, boys, don't give away penalties. They're making space too easy through that area, 30 or 40 metres. And this one sees them go on the attack now. Very close, just 10 metres out from the line. Yes, with Daniel Thompson now. Justin McKenna goes to dummy half. Marsden lead 28 points to nil. He goes across the park. He picks up Leah Pye. Long ball away to the big fella, Cody Kennedy. And he has scored. Oh, it's pretty hard to run. Yeah. Goodness me. He is a man unit, isn't he? Sean Ashcroft with the kick from the sideline. 32 nil. Can he make it 34? He comes back. He strikes it. It's low. It's coming around. Not there. 32 nil. Marsden lead more Afield. Jacob, he can't have nightmares about restarts. Wally for the rest of his life after tonight. He's going to have a sore foot. He will indeed. So, some of these great players that have played this Marsden team. Cameron Smith, Anthony, uh, Anthony Antonio Witherstein, Chris Sandow, Joe Tomain, Essie Tonga, and Israel Folau. Is there a resemblance to Cody Kenny and Israel Folau? And here he goes again. He's, the centre three quarters gone straight through here. This is uh, Mago. He's going up towards the line. He's up over the 30. He's over the 20. They're chasing him hard. Can they drag him down? It's going to be a great try. What a try. Jordan Mago has scored in the corner, Wally. We're talking about great players. Well, this fellow, he's had a good game, Jordan Mago. Yeah, fantastic. That was an opportunity. I think uh, even when he split the line, he was probably questioning whether he had the pace to be able to get away. But just have a look at it. There it is, down on the 20-metre line. He split some defence, but probably, well, could have been a little bit better. But he made sure that uh, life was a little bit tough for Wilkinson, who was the, the last line of defence. He actually beat him two or three times in the one movement and showed the power, the strength and the speed to get across the line and stretch the lead even further for Marsden. Here is Ashcroft from the sideline for Marsden. They lead 36 nil. He strikes it. It's low. It's coming around. Doesn't get there. 36 points to nil. Marsden lead Moray Field. <laughs> he hey Kirapar with the restart. Wally. This time, he's talking about some of the great players come out of there. Cameron Smith, the Australian captain. But what about this young kid, Cody Kennedy? He's in mind of his row for a little bit. Oh, he sure does. Just have a look at the size of him. He's, uh, he's got a wonderful balance when he runs with the football, but it's been his positional play, the angle of his runs, that has uh, most impressed me. Everything about him has got timing about it and uh, certainly plenty of determination. I don't think it's the last time we're going to hear this kid's name. Now, the other fellow on the side which came out, Connor Carey, he was... He was oh, here we go, another break. This has gone through McKenna. He's up over the 40-metre uh, mark. He's only 30 out from Moray Field line. Floodgates could open here. Liana Siali takes the ball away to Leopold, throws a long ball away. Gone through the back row at Junior Tamala Mai. And Marsden on the attack while they're looking on us again. 20 metres out from the Moray Field line. Now Jordan Stewart. 
Goes himself, look kick over the top. The ball is regained. Yes, it is. Six more tackles to go. And this is with Tomain. He unloads it away to May go on a try in the corner. Well, that was just all too easy. Luke Bellamy has scored a four-pointer while. Yeah, there'll be disappointment there for the Moray Field defence. But there's a couple of quality sets of pieces of play in this set. Here's the conversion from Sean Ashcroft about to take place. Scoreline's getting messy. He's hit it. It's low. It's coming around. It's there. Well, doesn't matter how you kick them. It was low, but it got over the top. While he 42 points to nil, and Marsden running away from this GIO Schoolboy Cup match. Restart now from Moray Field State High, and the ball has come down, and it's now with the the big front rower. That is Wesley Liana. Who, uh, it's part of a rugby in his day, but he, he likes the rugby league today. He's had a good game. They sent a three-quarter pairing, Wally, of, of Mago and, and Kennedy. I was just saying earlier, the, the coach, Joe Cunningham, told me that one of the better players, Connor Carey, did a leg injury. And he was uh, out of the side. So they've got three top-class centres in this team. It's an embarrassing riches. Oh, boy, it must be good, as these two are being close to the best players on the paddock. So the ball with Marsden. The big fellas in the, in the ball again. Wesley Liana, he works it up over the, the 40 metre mark. The defences can't seem to hold the Marsden at the moment. They're looking really, really strong. This is McKenna, he's already scored tonight. 25 out from the Moray Field line. They're scrambling in defence, Moray Field, trying to hold them. Leopold, he's going to go high with a big kick, and they're charging through the Marsden boys. Look at this. Oh, look at Jordan Stewart. What a tremendous bit of rugby league to take the ball on the full and score. They can do no wrong, Wally. Sean Ashcroft musting it's Christmas in uh, June here. He's had plenty of kicks. And he's been potting them over too. He hasn't been missing. Oh, look at that. When you're hot, you're hot. Holly, 48 points to nil. Marsden lead Moray Field in the GIO Schoolboy Cup. Restart from Mihai Kirapa. How do you cope, Wally, when you're playing as a player or as a coach when you're down by a big scoreline? What do you do? Do you, do you just hold your breath and say, let's get through the game? Well, I think you've just got to try and turn, have a look at the players beside you and offer. Uh, a little bit of assistance, ask them to work as a team, and when they go up in defensive lines, not provide something that they did on that occasion. Now, that was pretty ordinary from Moray Field, but you've just got to have a little bit of communication in defence. You can almost bluff your opponents on, on an occasion. McKenna had made a good run, gave the ball away. Cody Kennedy stay on the left hand side. See what he can accelerate quickly off a, off, a, off a mark. He's a really, really good player. Now, Leah Pye has the ball away. Jordan Stewart away to their lock forward. And that's Kimona. And Kimona gets 30 metres out to the Morayfield post. 48 points to nil. Marsden lead Morayfield. Mitchell, long ball away. Leah Pye, kick, kick over the top. Goes down to the fullback, I think it is there now. It is. And that is Reese Vincent, who's going to work it away from his own line. There's been some names while he came out. I said before Cameron Smith, Antonio Witterstein, Chris Sandow, Israel Fallout, Joe Tomain, Izzy Tonga. That's from Marsden. And the guys that have come out of Moray Field, just as impressive Joel Moon, Jack Reed, uh, Matt Gillette, Paul Ayton, Nick Emmett. So there's some real names in schoolboy football. Yeah, and after some of the performances that we've seen here this afternoon, I don't think it'll be too long before we see another one. Grace the world of the NRL first grade. All right. Molly the King, he knows, and we'll try and find out his 3-2-1 for you very shortly in this man of the match, the Joe schoolboy man of the match, as Moray Field just trying to uh, put some respect back into the school on. They trial by 48 nil, and he'll kick over the top, and uh, Mago's gone back for it. He's been everywhere tonight, Mago. Pushes off one, pushes off two. He's ankle tapped by Nathaniel uh, Damon, who's been good in defence. He's made the most amount of tackles for Moray Field. 18 tackles now, Wally, for, for Damon. Junior Move. Tamala Mai for Marsden, up over Come the 35 10, 10. metre mark. Mitchell. This is a way to Jason Tamain. Now Mitchell a dummy half. He's been great today. Turns back on the inside. Mitchell regains the ball. We've got the, the big fellow with it now. That's Wesley Liana, and he's got to be tackled. He's only 12 metres outside Morrow Fields line. Mitchell, Leah Pye, short ball to Kimono. And Kimono's wrapped up. 
They're still trying hard in defence while they are, though. Yeah, they're, they're having a go. And that's good. They, uh, they really chopped off a, an, an exciting opportunity for Marsden then. It really did look like there was a certain four points on it. Mitchell, Leopold, Katie Kennedy's there. Will he take the ball? He is human. Now what's going on here? The penalty's gone to Marsden. Unnecessary contact with the kicker. Okay. Did not attempt to make a new tackle. One. He just took the kicker out. So Marsden, the referee says he's taken the kicker out. So they'll try and they'll have a look for touch. Sean Ashcroft. Well, there we go. The referee's called it. And uh, well, I think as, as long as they remain the consistent, line, 12, you can accept decisions like that. And I think he's had a, a very good game, the referee. He has indeed. Liana Siali, he's going close to the line. He's over the line. They push him back. Not held up. He was pushed Stand back. Up. Mitchell, Joe Tamain, he's like a locomotive. Move. Can't stop him, they eventually get him though. Mitchell, Leopai, good ball, Jordan Stewart away to Homono. The, the, the defence is there, they're trying hard more, I feel they're holding them at the moment. Jordan Stewart, Leopai shows it, turns it, gave it back on the inside of the big fella. He's had a good game, Wesley Liana, the front rower. I like this hooker Mitchell. Just stand uh, uh, McKenna, should I say. McKenna. Backwards, controlled. Not Plays it on to on. Jordan Stewart. Away to Joe Tomain. Oh. Oh, how are you going to stop him? He's like a, a runaway train. He scored again, Joe Tomain. He's that, just been too good. That is smart play. 52 nil. Can he make it 54? Ashcroft. He does so. 54 points to nil. Only a few minutes remaining in this Jazz Schoolboy Cup. We got time you run for me, mate. Morrisville, time you run. Here's the restart. Ehe Kirapa and Wally, the man of the match. We're going to announce that in just a moment. Three, two, and one. We'll be interested to hear your. Uh, your comments because there's been some great players out there. One, Competition move. for spots out there. There's Marcus, been a number Marcus, of players Marcus. that are uh, uh, competing for the honour this afternoon. They've made another break here. Here he is, the big fella, mm. Cody Kennedy. They can't stop him in the three. Puts he's had a one out of two. He's, oh, it's a tremendous run. Marcus, he just really Marcus. is a talent, isn't he? Leave it out three, walk away. McKenna. He gave the ball away to the 16 to Maine. has been really good since he came on. Are, Gee, it's good are. to have interchange players. Wally with the depth they've got. Marsden. Jordan Stewart. Dummies around. Finds Ashcroft, who's uh, tackled by Luke stand. Ford. And also uh, the 17, Ishak Lisa. Leah Pye, only 18 metres out. Calls a player back inside and goes to the outside and finds to Maine. I think he was out there having a rest and he finds himself with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he still pushed off two tackles. McKenna. Here comes another one. Oh, yeah. You can almost smell the four try. points, Wally. Is it a try? I think it is. This time it's Liana Siali. It's a shame to see the scoreline blow out because it's not a true yep. indication of the game. No, it certainly wasn't. And uh, they're greeted by the full time Hooter. And I'm sure that uh, we've got the more I feel boys a little bit happier to hear it than their opponents. But. That is just sheer determination, Jackson, close to the line. Ashcroft now with the conversion. 58-0 they lead. Full-time sirens gone in the background. Strikes the ball low, straight over the black dot, and 60 points to nil. Marsden have defeated Moray Field as Wally Lewis announces the man of the match. And it goes to Marsden centre Jordan Mago. Gee, I thought he had a fantastic game. Every time he touched the ball, he was dangerous and very effective in defence as well. All right, there you have it. 60 points to nil. Marsden stayed high over Moray Field, stayed high in the GIO Schoolboy Cup. On behalf of Wally Lewis, this is Steve Hawkins bidding you all a very goodbye. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.